Hello everyone, welcome back to Tukla Tukshro Designer 2023 Premium Course BSc. Now let's start with me. Uh, today I will discuss about uh, how to model a beam, how to assign support and support condition, and how to uh, edit and or how to add beam restraint on the member or on the unrestraints, and how to show the direction on beam and how to add restraint to beam we we has different way or uh, this different methods can add restraint now let's start for how to model beam and correct uh, the default option in the class designer let's let's start from the add new you can add new file yeah add new uh, design okay and click on the model we start from the construction of walls and add a level wall. Now let me add a uh, four meter or one meter. Okay, start on the wall. You can select the level you want to model the grid line. Now let me click on the preview. So you you can double click on the best the the structural wall best two D. Yes. Now let add the grid line at the rectangular wizard. The name of grid line, match, and the uh, original location location of the grid start from the zero zero dot. Okay. Only two grid line in each direction, or only two grid line in y direction. Okay, or you can add only one. Yes, click next. Click come back. Six meter is correct. Click finish. Okay. Click on dimension to measure the dimension from one grid to other grid. Is correct or not? Yes, six meter is correct. And in the direction is four meter. Okay, now we will discuss about the steel beam or how to design a, a steel beam correctly. Before we continue to the design steel beam, we should to understand about the uh, option in the Tukla Structural Designer. Click on model, click on beam. You can change the beam to a beam or plate it or whatever type you, you, you need, you can model it. Now I start from the beams, steel beam, and grow down, yeah. The characteristic is beam is steel, and the construction is non-composite beam, okay. If you want to model a composite beam, you can change and click on the composite beam, okay. This is the default option in a Tukla Structural Designer, yeah? and the linearity is straight, Okay. Uh, if you don't want to design and optimize the section automatically, automatically as the you write analysis, please untick this option and change the grade. Now let me change the grade to 255 megapascal. Okay. And the design section order is IPE beams. Now uh, let uh, check and the option electoral restraint in the de default of the software the cloud structural designer this will be all the way take on the top plane continue restraint what does this mean now let's check uh, more detail in my uh, instruction we have a guidance on how to modeling and how to correct the auto option in a Tukla Structural Designer okay when you take the option top plane continue restraint it means that the beam the beam they are a continue restraint on the top plane yes like a composite beam this is the steel beam and connected with the floor by a C start connector in this case, we design the steel beam and a composite steel beam. You can check here. 
you see the the wire mesh in the the floor and the steel deck and the stud connector connect at each rib of the floor yeah each rib one rib one rib and uh, in this situation we can uh, assume that the the floor on the beam connect with the beam by the start connector may a restraint this is a full restraint from the start point to the end point of the beam in the case we design only the steel beam or or be uh, or slab on beam without steel connector we cannot uh, assume continue a restraint on the beam so the option sometimes is not correct you should understand about the rear conduction side you uh, design it a composite beam or only steel beam let's check about uh, the 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 top option yeah the conduction tie is non-composite okay non-composite we select a non-composite so in this one we also untick it okay untick it to make sure it's correct with our design concept now let me compare when I take the option and when I untick the option okay now start from the default design and uh, we model the same beam yes one two okay click on the 3d yes click on the 3d and again click on the support model and support and support a uh, fish fish support okay one two three four come back click on 3d and now let apply uh, load select the load to the did load and the uh, did load apply to kilonewton per meter click on load and full UDL and change it to 2 kilonewton per meter okay click on 1 2 again change to the import loads and change uh, the magnitude of load to 4 kilonewton per meter okay 4 kilonewton per meter 4 kilonewton per meter enter click and click okay I want you to uh, note tick on this support we model it ah uh, fit support okay fit fit support it is the support condition yeah the fit fit support and uh, everything we keep it in the folder so we are we do not change now let let me try to test it again and again and compare which we option is automatically and how we can change it with the uh, our concept okay The, the, the support condition is fit 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 now let run analysis before you run analysis you can uh, come back and load combination uh, generate load combination click on finish and scenario you can change uh, in the operation of final correction finish and click ok you can click on envelope and add new envelope and control import all the load combination click OK and click on the run analysis in the default setting in the Takla structural designer the first order analysis is selected now click on the analyze and run the first order analysis after you run analysis you can continue to select a design but 
in design option you can also do a automatic option analysis and design together the option design or static you run analysis as the analysis the software will automatically run design now let's click the option okay you see here the status this is uh, the red the red is a file member and the green is the past member there are two past member in uh, the working, working uh, screen now let me take over the mouse and the design ratio is 0 0.15h this one is 0 0.15h you can click on it and click on the design to uh, update the the section automatically yes again click on the design static this we have will be update uh, the section automatically click on here if you uh, click the option design auto design the software will be optimize the section when the this uh, apply load or internal for is uh, less than the capacity of the section now let me click on one and I change it to the other section again and design again yeah you see here the section automatically update in case you do, do not want to use the option you can click on the setting and change the auto tick option never never the software never update the section for you but to make sure the software do not update the section you must to untick the auto tick option here yeah design auto and untick it okay now let me change it to to ipe 200 okay control and click on beam edit and select ipe 200 okay now let uh, design again you see here the the, the ratio is 1.004 and this one is also 1.004 okay now check uh, the the bending moment and uh, show for with the shear diagram correct or not because we uh, assign the support support which support Yeah, we assign the support if we support. Click on the review. No, chain result and the methods. Click on the further analysis and the result. Click on the moment measure axis okay measure axis now see here the the support condition is fetch fetch support but the software not consider it as a fetch now it uh, the pin pin yes pin pin so we need to correct the condition click on the send oh okay and click on the force to check the four and click on the envelope click envelope to show the maximum force in the beam the maximum force is 40.5 it's 40.5 yes and now let's change to the c4 yeah 27.0 oh yeah 27.0 so now uh, this port condition is fit but actually it's not working now let me correct the uh, issue come back and click on the member click on the member control 
and scroll down. Check the list. Change the fridge earn one to fully fridge, and the fridge earn two to fully fridge. Okay. Now come back to uh, run analysis and design again. And now the 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 section is passed. The design ratio is only zero point five six. This one is the same. Click on this one to check the uh, result. The measure movement. Okay. Yeah. Now you see here the the uh, option is correct. We, we we call we want to design and assign the support a fit fit support. Yeah. This one is a uh, fit fit support. You correct with our concept. This is how you can train uh, the support and the earn strain condition. Because in the structural designer, we has uh, assign a support assign support to the member and also change the restraint on the member you see here when uh, i do not uh, i use the option automatically in the tecla structural designer it's not working with our concept we want to design a free free support at the both ends but actually it's work a pin pin so to correct the issue you select the beam and change the unrestraint. Okay, release and unrestraint. Change it to pin. And again, let me change it to pin. And run analysis in this design. Okay, the design ratio is one point zero zero four one point zero zero four. Okay. Now uh, let correct uh, the option. Come back to the model, click on the beam and scroll down. Yes, now click on the top plane called uh, continue a restraint. We had to change it. I want you I want you uh, to compare uh, between those two beam when we change the option. Yeah, no. There are no restraint on the top or the or the section. How do you know is the top and is the bottom? Yes. Now in the condition, you you can check with the global axis. Yeah, global on the system, it set and and uh, y direction, so you can understand it. The first is bottom, and this first is top of the section, right? Okay. We we now we 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 want to make sure everything is uh correct with our concept. We had to check on the option. Click on the uh the same. Content. Click on the member, and click on the steel beam. Click on the roll, okay, and click on direction, okay. Yeah, this is the direction of the beam. It's the start point and it's the end point. And the direct direction come from here to here, and the uh the narrow sign is over this. Uh, the uh, flank. So uh, the flank is the top flank, and this one is the bottom flank. Okay. Now let me rotate. It's uh, 150, uh, 180 degree. Okay. Rotate. So now this one is top, and this one is bottom. Okay. Now, this one is top flank, and this one is the bottom flank. Okay, understand? 
Okay, let me change to the original situation. Zero degree. Okay. So you understand which one is the bottom and the top plank. Yes. Okay. Now we correct the automatic option or default option in the software to untake the top plane continue restraint okay now let uh, run analysis and design again okay check now the beam the design ratio is 1.67 this beam is uh, fair and this one uh, is almost 100% uh, yeah so uh, why it's different because uh, in the default option in a uh, tukla texture designer we assume the top plane yeah the top plane if uh, has a fully fully continuous restraint on the top plane okay let's check uh, the picture the fully restraint at the top plane or the beam yes like this one we can uh, has a, a composite beam connect with the slab yeah by the shear start connector but actually when we design this beam we uh, our concept we design only for the non-composite beam yeah i hope you uh, interact with the topic again and let's check the status and now let's take a uh, let's check about the design report click on the check member static Okay, classification of the section is class 1 and the uh, C capacity. Now let's check about the uh, buckling, retro torsion buckling. The retro torsion buckling, the LLTB, the retro torsion buckling, yeah, is uh, equal to sigmeta. Sigmeta is the 0 and sigmeta. So uh, this beam there has no restraint, yes, yeah? has no restraint. We design it only a steel beam without restraint. So it fell because the lateral torsion buckling. Yeah. The design value, the apply moment or internal force is 40.5, the maximum moment applied on the uh, beam. And the design capacity for the L uh, lateral torsion buckling is only 24.2. So the design ratio is 1.672. Fair. This section cannot resist the uh, apply moment or the internal uh, the apply force. Okay, come back, click on this beam, right click, check on the member and static to check the design report, the classification if was class one, and the moment measure C yeah is thirty point five. And design capacity is 31.9 this this uh, for the moment is a uh, 0.781 this section is part for the moment now let's check for the buckling yeah lateral torsional buckling you see here indicate no lateral torsional buckling why because this beam has a fully yeah fully restrained at the top of the beam in the so uh, this beam do not occur do not occur the buckling yes the buckling the let rotors now buckling yeah why it fell fell because the deflection okay you see here the deflection yeah you see uh, the way you can check the design report and compare we option is correct or not when you design and model it to make sure everything is correct with your concept design I just let you it's very important when you want software not only for the Tukla structural design or whatever software you do now I, I just show you and uh, uh, introduce you some problem in the uh, Tukla in the uh, old version to the current letter version 2023 it's the same it's the same Yes. In uh, the next step, we will show you how to uh, add restraint to the beam. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Thank you.